Welcome back to the Boss Championship Racing Formula One Tournament. It's great to have you with us. Make sure to head over to our YouTube community tab to cast your vote for the coolest livery of the tournament. The amount of detail and artistry from all the teams has been exceptional. And we'll reveal the results at the final round. Well, I'm your host, Nils Nilsson. And I'm Hamish McLeod. It looks like another great, great day for a motor car race, Nils. Hamish, what's got you excited for today's race? As always, Nils. It's the fresh smell of F1 petrol. Oh, the real fans know what you're talking about. Well, let's meet the drivers from the A-Team from Canada. This is Indy Rain in the number 53. Lining up next to Indy will be Mr. Shotgun in the number seven. Mr. Shotgun has had a very quick car this tournament. And lining up behind them from Japan, from the Boss Championship Racing Team, in the Renault number seven, this is Tomi Yoshi. And next to Yoshi, in the red number 87, this is Numskull from Numskull Racing. Well, the grid is set. These cars are quick. They've proven themselves throughout this tournament. Well, next up, race one. Well, here we are for race number one. Reminder of the points, each car will have an equal shot at each position. Waiting for the lights, and they're off. Indy Rain getting away quickly, but Numskull making a charge back into second place, into that last corner, and Indy Rain will take race number one. Numskull coming in second. Here is the replay. Indy Rain with a nice getaway, but Numskull making a charge towards the end as well as Mr. Shotgun and Tommy Yoshi. So after race one, Indy Rain with five, Mr. Shotgun with two, Tommy Yoshi with one, and Numskull with three. So now here we are for race number two. Each car will rotate clockwise. Numskull and Indy Rain in the front row. Lights out. Numskull getting away, but Indy Rain making a move. Tommy Yoshi closes the door. And just like that, Numskull up to eight points with that win. Big move there from Tomi Yoshi defending that position. Finishes in second. Elbows out already. So after race number two, Indy Rain with seven, Mr. Shotgun with three, Tomi Yoshi with four, and Numskull with eight. This group so far has kept it very close, very tight in the corners. Tomiyoshi in the front row now. Green, and they're off. Tomiyoshi getting away. Looking to check out the big slide. And at the line, Tomiyoshi will come away with the win. Looks like he got pushed across the line. Well, here's the replay. Looks like coming out of that corner, just loses it, and then gets pushed across the line. But we'll have to take a closer look to see who finished in P3. Indy Rain with the outside move, but Mr. Shotgun looks like he just beats him by a nose. Here it is again, and just. So after all of that, Numskull is up to 11. Tomi Yoshi now up to nine. Indy Rain with eight, and Mr. Shotgun with five. So Mr. Shotgun is gonna need a miracle, but for the entire grid, the race is on. So here we go, race number four. And they're off. Mr. Shotgun with a great start. Indy Rain right there. But here comes Tommy Yoshi on the inside. Last corner. And across the line. Too close to call. Here is the replay. Mr. Shotgun defending two drivers, essentially. And at the line. Wow, too close. Let's see that again. Just a huge effort from Tommy Yoshi into that last corner and then just pedal to the floor, able to cross the line by just a nose in front of Indy Rain and grabs that point. So here are the points after race four, Tomi Yoshi and Numskull tied with 12, Indy Rain and Mr. Shotgun unfortunately with only 10. Well, let's go trackside with Hamish. What do you think of Tomi Yoshi? That Tomi Yoshi's a racer for sure. Hamish, I know you love Canada. What would you say to Indy Rain? My only hope, Nils, is that Indy Rain doesn't get stuck in the snow and is able to make a comeback next year. Well, thanks, Hamish. So now we have to settle this with a tiebreaker between Tomi Yoshi and Numskull. Lights go green. 
And Tomi Yoshi getting away. Can Numskull make a run at the line? It is Tomi Yoshi by quite some distance. Yeah, we can see here in the replay that Tomi Yoshi had a huge jump from the start, but also just extended the lead as the race went on. The winner of this tiebreaker will start on the front row. So Numskull will need to respond to keep that hope alive. Here we go for race number two, and they're off. Neck and neck into the corner, and Tomi Yoshi putting the move on Numskull, and will come out on top, taking the tiebreaker after only two races. Here's the replay, Tomi Yoshi with a clean pass on Numskull. Numskull unable to respond. And after all of that, Tomi Yoshi is your semifinal part two winner but quite the upset for Numskull coming in P2, also moving on to the final round. Both of the drivers started in the back row, but yet they came out on top. And heartbreak for Indy Rain and Mr. Shotgun, both having quick cars, but just not able to obtain enough points to move on. So many close finishes at the line that just didn't go in either of those drivers' favor. I've got to say, Yoshi made the tiebreaker look pretty easy. And for Numbskull, he's made it to the final round, and that's definitely something to be proud of. Well, Hamish, what did you think of Yoshi's effort? Aye, dancing around the track like poetry on wheels. He's the real deal, Mills. Well, again, thank you so much for watching here at Boss Championship Racing. I'm Nils Nilsson. If you haven't hit subscribe, please go ahead and do so. You'll never miss another race. And we will see you at the final round.